long time. It's Friday night in Vancouver. I'm slowly drifting back plenty of reasons, but you're going to be hearing from me a lot. D-dubs, uh, well, DW eventually changed to D-dubs, and uh, D-dubs, um... Facebook, hi, I'm live. I haven't been live in a long time. It's Friday night in Vancouver. It's uh, just about a quarter to nine on the West Coast, and uh, I'm bored. Like, I'm incredibly bored. I'm waiting to work. And uh, I thought that I would go live and talk to people because I haven't talked with people in a long time. I'm slowly drifting back to social media after a hiatus for a variety of reasons, but you're going to be hearing from me a lot during the during the final season, and I thought that I would do like a full-on old school. There's already been 171 comments, but I haven't seen any of them yet, so hopefully that changes, because I was gonna, you know, take some questions. The first thing that people are probably wondering, um, yeah, yeah, that's my face on um, on this T-shirt. This is, uh, this is me. No, oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's wrong. <laughs> that's me right there. And this is my buddy, DW. David Wesley Kyle. He's been on the show since season one. And uh, we call him DW. And uh, D-dubs, uh, well, DW eventually changed to D-dubs. And uh, D-dubs um, eventually changed the name of the CW to C-dubs. Why am I not seeing comments? I should be seeing comments. There's like 637 comments. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. All right, okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to answer some questions. Uh, Stephen Buck is retired military and he loves the show, so that's neat. What do we do? We just, just get down to the bottom there? There we go. Stephen Bagley. First of all, shout out to the Stevens uh, named their son after the character. Uh, Chris Eccles is sad that it's the final season. I'm sad too, you know what I mean? Like, it, um, I'm a big believer that... Uh, Everything has its uh, its running time, so to speak, and I think that we've had our running time. You know, that's what I thought when I talked with uh, with with Greg Berlanti in season six. I felt like we had done our thing. I thought that ultimately, theoretically, season seven should have been the end of things. But to come back and do ten episodes, especially with what Beth and uh, and Mark Guggenheim, who stepped back in um, over the past couple of uh, couple of a uh, couple of months for a variety of reasons um what they've done with this final season is really cool it's it's like nothing you guys have ever seen like every episode that comes out it's like wait a minute what it's happening what and where and how okay that's cool let's do it um as i was saying at comic con like i've had a i've had a chance uh, my characters had a chance over the past, or the first three episodes, I reconciled with like five different characters. Um, and that's just really, really cool. All right, next question. Here we go. Okay, okay. Oh, good things must come to an end, according to Wat Motley Crue. Okay, okay. All right, it's fine. Um, someone I met at Comic Con in 2018, that's neat. Oh, I taped a get well video for your mom in Orlando, Leo. That's lovely. I made her cry. She bounced back. That's exciting. Congratulations, Leo. Congratulations to your mom. Please show her this video. I hope that her bounce back continues. I hope she was better than she ever was before. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I missed having this eye makeup. Um, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that Oliver has his mask back on in season eight and uh, my reasoning for having the mask back on was I just like it. The iconography of the character, having the hood up, uh, the suit that we did this year, uh, which I think was really, really beautifully done, uh, is a callback to the first season. Um, the bow is a, I 
can't. I can't. The Bo's a callback to the first season. And um, the hood. We're back to the canvas hood. Yao face hood. Means a lot to me. It also fits better than any other hood. I had it for the first three years, and then I begged them for the next four to give it back to me, and they finally did it. Um, okay, some more questions here. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Reggie. Why my uncle Steve? I don't even know. Um, Catherine Michelle says, uh, Catherine Michelle Sports says, I hope that the next stage of your career will be as popular as Arrow is. You know, Catherine, I have no idea what I'm going to do. None. People keep coming up to me being like, what What are you going to do? I have no idea. Um, I want to hang around L.A. Um, you know, my wife moved, uh, my wife and I moved into a house in December of 2015. We bought it in 2015. We moved in in January of 2016. I don't feel like I've ever actually properly unpacked. That's a true story. I don't feel like I've ever properly unpacked. And I would like to. And if that means spending some time in L.A., but you never know. You never know. I mean, at the very least, I want to be in that deadline article uh, for most sought-after actors for pilot season, although I don't actually think that I'm going to do TV again. But uh, that would be something. Speaking of um, – well, no, this is this is a complete non-segue. But uh, for all the people that are fans of Code 8 out there, we've got some very, very cool announcements uh, coming soon. We have uh, more or less finalized the path – that the movie is going to take. Um, we are also working to um, make sure that uh, the people in Dallas and the people in Miami who had to miss the premiere because I <clears throat> fell ill, so to speak, uh, <clears throat> we're going to make it up to you guys. Absolutely. We're working on that. That uh, revolves around my schedule, Robbie's schedule, Jeff's schedule, and certainly around what we plan to do next with the movie. But um, I haven't had a chance to properly thank in a public platform all the people that came out um, for the premieres and all the people who haven't said shit about what happens in the movie because we asked you very nicely not to. Thank you very much. All right, one more. Here we go. So many comments. 3,000 comments. Uh, Bradman Billen says, man, I'm sorry for the end, and I'm wondering if the 10 episodes next year, this year, might be part of the crossover for next season so that you can grace it with your ever great presence. I don't totally understand that. I'm just going to, I'm going to use that question, and this might not be what you meant, but everything to do with season eight of Arrow, everything that we're doing right now, certainly through episode three and the ending of episode three, good golly, Miss Molly. It's mental. I freaked out and texted a bunch of people once I read it, which is always a good sign when you know this you're this far into stuff. Um, the ending of episode three is great, but every single episode thus far in season eight um, is uh, leading to crisis on infinite earths. And I know that some of the other shows are doing this, and I know that um, you know we've we've brought in. Uh, an actor to, um, I think, help facilitate bringing all the shows together, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Um, Alvin says, if a Green Arrow movie is going to be greenlit, are you willing to audition as Arrow? No! <laughs> no way! What, what am I going to audition for? They can... Like, what do they need? As opposed to an audition, how about they just view the last 162 episodes? I'll, I'll give them the tapes. Or I'll borrow the DVDs from somebody, but no, I'm not going to audition for that. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, if you could have one guest star this season, who would it be? I can't say, just in case we get them. I feel like I saw a... Uh... Oh, Travis the Walker Anderson says AEW plans. That's all elite wrestling. Uh, we'd absolutely love to see you back in the square. So I'll tell you what. I haven't had a chance to talk about AEW. I want to really, really congratulate uh, Cody, Brandy, Matt, Nick, Kenny, all the OGs um, that were involved in All In last September. I have, uh, as a wrestling fan, I have watched from afar. Uh, I've never gotten to see one of the pay-per-views live. Uh, I always watch it like the next day and I text Cody as I'm about to watch his match. 
but I'm so proud of those guys. If you are a professional wrestling fan in any way, shape, or form, and you're not watching AEW, you are making a mistake. It is so cool. Um, the people that are involved in it are so passionate. Now, are they? It's new. And it's exciting. It's like it's like a new relationship. The, the sex is great at the beginning. Sorry, that was inappropriate. But like, can you keep it up? Is there love there? Is there longevity? And I, I really hope, for the sake of these guys, um, and gal, that that they can keep it up. They've got good backing. They've got good support. They've got wonderful fans. And I hope uh, and I trust that they're going to keep their eye on the prize. Um, Again, if you're a professional wrestling fan and you're not watching AEW, go back, okay? Find All In, right? Then go watch Double or Nothing because the match between Cody and Dustin is the greatest storytelling that I've ever seen in a professional wrestling match. And then go watch Fight for the Fallen and there's one that I'm missing, whatever. You get me. They premiere on TNT on October 2nd. This is not a paid ad, I swear to God. Watch the show. It's awesome. Uh, okay, let's go for some more. Uh, Edward Rodriguez says, I just wanted to tell you that love your show more than Jared and Jensen's Supernatural. Shh, don't tell them. Uh, that's Edward Rodriguez saying that he likes Arrow more than Supernatural. This sort of leads me into Comic-Con. Um, if you were at Comic-Con, if you watched Comic-Con, if you commented on Comic-Con, I uh, want to thank everyone so much for that experience for me. I was absolutely flabbergasted by the love that our show got and the appreciation and the kind words. Um, I couldn't have anticipated it. Um, I didn't anticipate it. I didn't deal with it particularly well. I don't like crying in front of several thousand people, but uh, man, oh man. And then I saw all of the stuff, um, speaking of wrestling, I just got my Ultimate Warrior guy right here. Um, you know, speaking of this, I, I saw um, highlights from Jared and Jensen's panel on uh, Sunday morning in Hall H. And uh, those guys also deserved uh, all the love that they got I'm glad they both cried too, because now I don't feel like a sissy. And um, I'm proud of them. Uh, they become really good buddies, but I mean, beyond that, they are uh, mentors um, to me, and I appreciate them. I don't know why we're getting so emotional here. Can I answer a couple more questions, then we'll be done. Oh, and thank you to Sarah, my friend Sarah, who got a uh, jacket that, um, we can't talk about it and that she's not allowed to talk about because I don't want to get sued. Um, Sheila, of course, says, I read Arrow Comics as a kid and it's been many, many years since then. Arrow is my favorite superhero. That's awesome. Thank you. Casey Elizabeth White says, going to miss the show, um, but we'll love it forever. You did an amazing job. That's nice. That's, that's not a question. That's nice. Um, Patricia Crossier Gibbon says, I love you, and of course, Arrow, but I really wish that Oliver and Felicity end the show together. Me too. Um, all right, I can't answer any more questions because it's just, it's getting crazy. Anyway, um, I apologize that I haven't been posting as much on Facebook. There's a variety of reasons there. Um, uh, more than anything, uh, specifically over my hiatus, I just, I just wanted to take a little bit of time. And as we ramp up, to the final season, you're going to be seeing a lot of me. And uh, then you either might see a bunch of me after the show's done, or I might disappear. But we've got a couple of things coming up. I've got a really, really cool uh, knocking point thing happening. I'm actually the collaborator for... Um, sorry, there's a bug. I'm actually the collaborator for the Tastemakers Club in August. And I've got two amazing wines that I'm not going to debut yet. I've got a rosé and got a red. Um, they're different from Knocking Point because they really revolve around my life on the show. So if you're a fan of the show, you're going to really enjoy it. Um, we're creating a code, and if you're new and you've never been involved in the club before, you can basically get it for like 29 bucks, shipping included, which is incredible. Uh, and if you are a member of the monthly club, um, what else? Yeah, we're gearing up to do an F Cancer 
campaign sometime around the launch of the final season of the show. And uh, yeah, Code 8 stuff, and that's it. Thank you, Facebook. You'll be seeing more of me, and uh, I hope everyone out there is great. All the best.